I studied piano since I was four, and um, it's always been uh, part of the expression of myself, really. And I love trying to make the piano sound like other things, like trying to make it sound like an orchestra, or trying to make it sing like a singer, or, or uh, sound like a cello. And I think even though it's a sort of bit of a clunky old machine, um, it's quite good to uh, fire imagination with things. And um, the music I always heard when I was growing up was chamber music, so uh, those, that sort of music is what I had in my head. My mother, who's, who's, um, uh, she was uh, 87 last week, and still playing the piano, um, full time. She teaches at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music. And um, I heard her playing with my aunt, Joan Dixon. They had a cello and piano duo. Um, and they played in some of the very earliest Edinburgh festivals. And in fact, Hester played again in 2010. You do sacrifice some other, other things in your life in order to be a musician, but it is it is my passion, it is all musicians' passion. So you don't mind that at all because it's, uh, it's part of your life, part of your soul, and it is incredibly, it's an incredible privilege to be able to do what we do. There is no such thing as a typical day. And the whole point about the, uh, the career is that it's, you live in a state of flux. You know, you're traveling to these different places, and particularly as an accomplice, you're working all with all these different people all the time. Mm -hmm. So the variety and the, the, uh, the flexibility of your life is the, is the key because you may be playing the same music for the same singer or you may be playing the same music for a different singer and therefore you have to be totally flexible. They try things out in Edinburgh where maybe you wouldn't hear them elsewhere. I mean, it's not like your run-of-the-mill concerts and you just have the immense variety of, of you know, theatre, theatre concerts, recitals and, and all the fringe as well. And with Simon, with the songs, you know, he tells a story and uh, he could, even if you don't understand every word of the foreign languages he's singing in, in German, in this case German and French, I mean he is so um, grounded and so clear about the emotions that he's, gonna, that he's talking about that hopefully if you've never been to a song recital before and were slightly scared of maybe hearing songs in foreign languages, um, he would definitely tell you a story. It's spontaneous, which I think is the, that's the key to the Edinburgh Festival, to the audiences and to the performers too.